That's awesome! <laughs> it was like a treasure hunt. <laughs> They bite people's heads. Never really? Now yeah, that's history. Nobody knew what to expect. It was quite a threat at the time. My mother took down all her good pictures. She took down all her china. So we opened all the windows and we took down all the pictures. And... You know, we didn't know what was going to happen. I thought we'd have a little bit of a tidal wave come down, you know. Between Maud Island and Vancouver Island, hide a submerged mountain. Ripple Rock was a huge mountain beneath the sea that caused a bunch of grief. Oh. Roger McDonnell, former mayor of Campbell River, took me to the location of the infamous rock. Well, Ripple Rock, I mean, historically, was the worst navigation hazard on the west coast of North America. See it shallowing up. We're directly over top of Ripple Rock right now. So this used to be nine, 10 feet below the surface. Before, this would not be advisable. But now, it's fine. I headed to the museum at Campbell River to find out exactly how this underwater mountain had been moved. I am so astounded by the engineering feat of this. Who would think about attacking the rock that way? Miners were working round the clock, about 10 or 12 men going underground for each ship. The whole operation started with uh, drilling a shaft on Maud Island. They went underneath Seymour Narrows, and then they came to the base of Ripple Rock. Once they moved up the vertical, they were able to branch off, just like my fingers. Yeah. They branched off. Now that wasn't pleasant with water coming in on you. They packed in 1,300 pounds of high explosion. The largest peacetime explosion up to 1958. I wanted to track down some people who had seen the explosion with their own eyes. Oh, I saw the Ripple Rock explosion. It was great. Something you won't ever see again, so there you are. <laughs> We knew people wanted to see the blast go off, so Skip and I, we were going to make a buck. <laughs> there were two of us involved in this promotion, this bus promotion, so that we could haul the people from Campbell River out to our viewpoint so they'd see the blast. So everybody could watch. Everybody could watch it. I think we had a, a cat go in there and make a clearing for us so we could get the buses in there and so the people could stand around and watch it. We managed a few hundred. Uh -huh. We should have had more, but the chief of police or the inspector, he turned around and he said, that don't want any more traffic coming up this way, so that was it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire. Was a success? It was a resounding success. I always like to say, may the peak of Ripple Rock rest in pieces at the bottom of Seymour Narrows. <laughs>